This is the sound of an estimated magnitude 4.6 quake on Mars. It was recorded by NASA's InSight mission last year, the largest Mars quake it observed. Scientists at ETH Zurich believe audio of seismic events could help scope out where to put a base for some future manned mission to the Red Planet. Senior scientist Do Yeon Kim was excited about the event. What's great about this quake was that it was so strong that these surface waves were able to travel the entire planet multiple times. So it basically orbits, orbits and going, you know, around and around for at least three times. And, and what's great about these observations is that you can now start to uh, measure the velocity of which these surface waves travel along the planet. And, you know, based on that velocity, we can actually extract the information about um, the interior structure of Mars. Using the audio, Kim and his team can determine the structure of the Martian crust, where it's thicker or denser. They calculated that it averages between 26 to 35 miles in depth. It also helped them to explain the mysterious contrast between the northern and southern hemispheres of the planet. The crust is steeper in the south than the north, Kim says that's going to play a part in deciding where to stay on Mars. So the, what's the lowest um, latitude of the ice that we found, subsurface ice that we found? Um, where is the dominant seismicity? Um, you know, where did the largest quake happen? Um, and all this information, I think, is really a key uh, to select um, sort of the base, if you will, um, in the future. Touchdown confirmed. Now, Kim says seismologists like him should be included in any future mission to the Red Planet. For seismologists uh, to be one of the, uh, you know, in, to be included in those like pioneering groups because um, we get to actually, you know, provide some economical information uh, from subsurface, such as ore deposits, uh, geothermal resources, you know, water and ice, and which are all the key, I mean, not just economics, but basically key components to basically survive on a completely another uh, planetary bodies in our solar system.